Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Scholar of the First Sin. We are back in the Forest of Fallen Giants. Changed up my wardrobe just a little bit. For those of you curious, Dragon Lake Mail, Hollow Infantry Gloves, Hollow Infantry Boots. No change to the stats. I haven't actually gone back to Majulia yet. You can see I still have all my souls bottom right hand corner. But we are going to take on Soldier's Rest, move on to Majula, do a little bit of housekeeping. Then we'll head over to Things Betwixt, clear that up, and then we're going to take on Hades Tower. So first, let's go ahead and clear our whoop, wall, right? Yep. And that guy, that was going to get me. You know what? Let's see if we can just get the first hit. Nice. Excellent. Now, this next area, from my understanding, is very dark. And you know what? I didn't get a torch. Is there one down there? Or does it just instantly plunge you into darkness? There's a... There's a summon down there. I did not know that. All right, that's news. We're uh, sorry. We're gonna backtrack really quickly and light our torch because I know that that area is very dark, and I don't have any flame butterflies yet. That's gonna be probably quite a bit of time before we can even find any of those. There we go. I wonder what shade is down there, or is that a full summon? I guess they added that to assist with the. Invader Armor Dennis. By the way, Flame Salamander Pit still going to be holding off on that for quite some time. Like that sconce just in case we die and need that. And who do we have? It's a shade. Ruined Alphys. Okay. Yeah, sure. Come on out, Alphys. And I believe we have... Yep, some skeletons. Which, our mace is actually going to do some good work. Well, not I'm sorry, not our mace, our morning star. Alphys, what are you doing, man? Good. I'm really glad you used Cast Light. Actually, that's kind of cool. Black Fire Bombs and a Homer Bone. I actually appreciate the fact that he uses those. That's really good. Taking a look for... Invisible hollows. I don't think there are any. Alright, Alphys, you want to uh, handle some of these? One of them? Wow, your damage is. Your damage is bad. Your damage is really bad. I guess you're good for some bait. That's about it. Alluring skulls. And now I believe I can put this away. Yep, because here we are outside. Now this next section I've already seen in action. It is brutal. Because up top, there are a number of the ironclads. So we will make our way there slowly. Is the I don't think the bastard sword is here anymore. Nope, human effigy. The bastard sword is now above us where the ironclads are. So we're gonna head up you know what? I might actually end up using these black fire bombs. We will see. Depending, I don't know if you can actually pull these guys one at a time. Let's see. Oh, actually, there's explosive barrels there. Bummer. I was really... This isn't going well. This is a bit of a mess. Nope. Weave! All right. There we go. But that's it for fire bombs. That is it. And I didn't get any of them with the explosive barrels. But you know what? If I get in there, there we go. Can you handle just one of them? That's all I ask. Just one. I tend to doubt it, but that's all right because we got this one. And now. And finish. There we go. Alphys, you're still alive. You're still kicking. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Cracked Red... Oh, three more Cracked Red Eye Orbs. There's the Bastard Sword, which we'll probably be switching to. If we have the stats to use it. Oh, and the whip's up here. That's interesting. Let's see if we can do away with the Short Sword for the Bastard Sword. 20 Strength. Ah, oh, but we can tool, tool. You just healed. 
All right, good move set. I like it. Get all the items. Now we still have a moment before Armorer Dennis shows up. Well, I don't actually even know how that just hit. And there we go. Oh, the damage is bad though. The damage is bad. Back to the Morning Star. Thank you, thank you, Alphys. Okay, that that was actually helpful. Old ironclad helm, excellent. I really wanted their armor. I really wanted their armor. Can I? Actually, I like the way that looks with the Drang Lake set. I really do. All right, now, now we are going to be invaded. So now we are going to, before anything else, light the bonfire. So at least if we, oh, and he just got sent back to his home. All right. All right, Armor Dennis, where are you? Are you behind me? I thought you spawned up here. Oh, I was wrong. All right, this guy apparently is a royal pain. So let's see how we, oh, I'm rolling very slowly. Okay. Let's, um, oh. Soul Vortex, got it. We are going to... Ooh. I'm try, trying to lose a little bit of weight here. So I would rather be fast rolling than anything else. A little bit better. Not much. The Bastard Sword weighs a good bit. Oh, you're not... You're just going to hang out up here, huh? Oh. Alright. Magic Greatsword. You know what this has, though? My favorite move. Big fan. Even better when he's not blocking, though. Get off. Yep, good. Ooh, that would have been bad. Oh, oh, crud. Heal? Now, he likes that... Yeah, he likes that upper position for this reason. Ooh, that damage is hefty. We need a big heal. Big heal. Ooh, he poised right through that. That was unexpected. Quick, quick, quick. All right. But we're getting him. We are getting him. Okay. All right. We're going to win this. Uh-oh. Thank you for not, uh... Oh, no, no, no. What is that? Ooh. There it is. Invader banished. So long, Dennis. Good times were had by no one. Whew. All right. Invaders stepping their game up. Got the hunter set and another soul item. And I believe that should be it. I have the bonfire lit. I might get a seed here. No, no seed. That's a shame. All right, so it's back to Majula. We've cleared Soldier's Rest. And I'm probably going to cut it. I'm going to do a little bit of leveling up and some gear upgrading. And then I'll see you in things betwixt. And headed to things betwixt. Let me go ahead and show you some of the changes that I made. I leveled up all the way to 27. We had enough levels for 12 levels, I believe. And I put some in, or one point in endurance, some in vitality, and the rest in strength. I just made it so I can just fast roll, even though it is a very short fast roll, with the current gear that I have on. And I also got my Bastard Sword upgraded to plus four. So it's already doing 196 damage, and I'm getting 72 bonus. Whoop, as I get rid of it. I am getting 72 bonus from the scaling. From the strength and dex, mostly from the dexterity since that's actually what I or mostly from the strength rather since that's what I've been leveling 
But we came back here because we've already lit all the sconces we've had access to, but we now have a Fragrant Branch of Yore. So we can access this next and last section of the Tutorial Zone. Come on, hurry up, wake up. We are definitely killing these enemies in one shot, but now we have... Oh! Get up! We have Basilisks. That we can also kill in one shot. Oh, just kidding. We should be able to kill in one shot. There we go. Ooh, Bleedstone. Nice. So all the Basilisks have a chance to drop any of the Infusion Stones. So once you have this area unlocked, this is actually a decent little farming route. Because you have the three Basilisks up top, which I'm actually going to deal with this guy first. He's a bit of a nuisance. And then, down below, we have another... Is it two or three? Three. Another three down there. So, pretty dangerous. Now, I lit the sconce... I thought I lit a sconce up there. And there isn't one immediate... Oh, there is one in this room. So, let's actually run back out and light that. And then I'll probably put the torch away for the drop attack so I can actually get a plunge, hopefully, on one of the basilisks. Because this next section, this is much more dangerous than it used to be. But the goal is... The goal is to hopefully kill one of them as I fall. I will take a twofer, though. Very, very gladly take the twofer. And heal... Grab the SS Flash Shard. By the way, I did upgrade my SS Flask as well. So we now have three. We'll have four the next time we pass through Majula. No, nothing. Okay. And no sconce to light down here. So we're going to head outside to the Ogre Beach that also has the gender change coffin. There's a sconce here I have to light. But I'm going to hold off on that because I believe this is the last one and we will get an invader to spawn. As soon, well, he's not really an invader. He just kind of appears like he was there all along. But I want to unlock this shortcut. And what I want to do... What I desperately want to do is see if I can actually reach this ogre from here. I can't lock on, so I am... You know what I can do, though? Is I can equip my binoculars. And... Manually aim. Oh, just over his head. Try again. Let's aim a little lower. Ah, oh, still high. Last throwing knife. There we go. Good. It, it's really ultimately not going to make much of a difference because the ogres are linked. So if you get one, you're going to get both. But hopefully... I can lead one all the way up to this new shortcut bridge. Come on, keep following. Keep following. Now I have to be careful here. Well, the problem is I need him to roll. So that is not the attack that I want him to actually use. Unless he wants to walk off, and in that case, I'm very okay with that. But I don't think I've ever seen that happen. There it is. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta roll after that, pal. You did, you did most of it. Are you just, what? What are you doing? Okay, that's new. I guess I could fight him over here. I, I don't really have anything against it. But what you can do... Alright, start heading back. But I need you on the bridge. On the bridge. Oh boy, ogres and bridges. Come on. Hey. Doofus, turn around. Alright, you're being... Oh. Nope, the grab attack is not going to do it, buddy. I mean, I'll keep taking pot shots at you, but what I really need is not to fall off. 
really. You're gonna, you're gonna sit. That's your plan. All right, this is, this is not going well at all. But you know what? Tell you what. Why don't you just get down to that wider platform? That's fine. And yeah, keep going. I can fight you on there. I don't mind. There we go. Good enough. Oh, bother. Okay. That's all right. I can still bait it. And there's one. Now, I need the other one to come here because if we get too close, there is going to be a pursuer that's going to spawn. Do I have anything I can throw? No, but I have my crossbow, right? I also picked up the shortbow in Lenagrast's room. Oh, you are going to actually just come right here. That's even better. This actually, this tactic works wonders. Sure, why not? There we go. Now come up here. And... Oh, boy. Now sit, 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 sit. Excellent. And you're not dead, but that's okay, because now you are. Now if I head back to the bonfire keepers at the beginning, I can actually get the handmaiden's ladle, which I know is... What all of you are looking for. I'm going to get ready to fight the Pursuer again. Two forty-six. Oh, good damage. Two ninety-six, great. Let's try an R2. 311, eh, not really worth the stamina consumption. Oh my goodness. All right. Need to be a little bit more careful here. He's already below half. That was way, way, way early. That was entirely my fault. Quickly, 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 quickly. That would have been it. I Karumba, I am, I am, what? I don't know what he just did, but it scared me. He just shot projectiles. <gasps> Still shooting projectiles. That was new. That was very new to me. I caramba. That scared me. Two more hits. You know what? He's doing it again. Just kill him. Oh, boy. 7,200 souls for him, though. That's pretty good. That's, that's boss level. So if I wanted to change my gender... I could hop in here. I don't. Oh, Pursuer, Pursuer, Pursuer. Well, we're not done. We are not done. We have to light that sconce, and then we have one more enemy to fight. The Black black Phantom. Who I believe spawns right here, so we're going to be kind of just charging right at him. Let's get rid of our Aromatic Goose. I don't think I'll need it for that fight. You don't really get any indication either. He's just, uh, he should just be there if we lit them all. Oh man, did we miss one? Am I really gonna have to run through? I might have to run through. If I have to do that, I will, I will do it off camera and then just show when he's here. Yep, all right, let me do that. I'll show you which one I miss and where he spawns. And before I actually show you which one I missed, I still haven't figured it out yet, but since I was over here, come back. Say that you've proved yourself to the forest and get the handmaid's ladle. The handmaid's? Handman's? Hand, handmaid's ladle. I'll see you guys when I find the sconce. Aha! Okay, so as I was looking up and I said I thought I'd lit the sconce, I didn't. And this is the last one, which means he's probably going to spawn almost beneath us. I wonder if we can get a dropping attack. And there he is. You can see him. He just pops in. And if I'm quick... I can! I can get a dropping attack. Beautiful! Now, let's go ahead and really get in there. And, okay. <laughs> 3,000 souls. And you get a petrified something. 
And since we're right in front of the crows, that was... I almost feel bad. Almost feel a little guilty. Not quite, but almost. Almost. All right. Let's drop a couple of things here. I have... I will, I will, I will. Small, smooth, and silky stone, and the petrified something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I already did. What did you give me? Life gem? Eh. And the old whip. All right, wow. So, I said that there were three rare items. There are four. The old whip, the channeler's trident, the demon's great hammer, and the white ring. I got the... What do I have? Did I get the demon's great hammer? Or was that on the character that did not record? I guess that was on the other one. But I do have the old whip, and I have the white ring already. Pretty good. Alright, let's top off. I shouldn't have done that. I could have just rested at a bonfire. And I'm not going to make any cuts here. I'm just going to run back. I'm going to level up, spend the rest of my souls with Melentia. And then we'll make our way to Hades Tower. That is the plan. Bastard Sword, it's a good large sword for us now. I believe it is classified as a great sword, but we're going to be going the route of the ultra great sword, so this is only a placeholder. Oh, we did find a uh, shard as well. Bear seek, seek, less. We get it. We get it. We get it. It's almost like that should be in a t-shirt. Huh? Huh? Nudge, nudge. And, nope, just kidding. How many points can I go up? I can go up seven more levels already, just from doing things betwixt. Well, we're going to do Vigor, and we're going to do more Vitality, Endurance, and Strength. Nice. Excellent. Thousand souls left. And you know what I forgot is that we need to actually go do the mansion. Buy something. Anything. All right. Fine. We'll just buy some life gems and a single throwing knife. I like to travel with as few souls as I can. Now, we haven't done anything with Mullen. I know that I can upgrade his inventory by spending a thousand souls and then another 10,000 souls or 1,500, 10,000. I don't know. I think it's 16,000 souls total is what gives you his maximum inventory, and I think it's 1,510. Ferris Lockstone, but I don't have any need for armor. I actually really love the Drang Lake set, and the Ironclad Helm looks great with it. In my humble opinion, of course. Kale will be joining us here later after we kill the skeleton. I should have brought a torch with me down here. Another shard. I can go right back to the Herald with this. And I don't know if they're ever planning on releasing the reskins that we had in Dark Souls 2, like the Black Mirror Kumo, the White Black Steel Katana, the Bloody Great Club. Has anyone, ever, has anyone heard that? Whether or not we're going to have a chance to get that? I actually really love the Mirakumo and the Blacksteel Katana. Those are really good to have. By the way, I got a Soul Vessel, which means that I can allocate my stat points at any given time with the old hags and things betwixt. More shards, more torches. We have Sweet Shalquar in there. Still don't have any need for her. So let's go ahead and just make our way right over to Hate's Tower where things get messy in a hurry. Um, I changed my mind. I think Morningstar, having that upgraded just a little bit, will actually be pretty beneficial. By the way, I'm not going to use any boss souls. In other words, I'm not going to consume any of them, just in case we want to play around with boss weapons later on. Nope, nope, nope. We want Morningstar. I can only upgrade once. Eh, it's still something. Still something. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alright, good enough. Good enough. Alright. So once again on the journey to Hades Tower. I don't know if we're going to attempt to take on the Guardian Dragon. From my understanding, he is brutal. Because as soon as you get anyone near him, he starts breathing fire. And it's very hard to evade. So I'm not sure if we're going to attempt that or if we're going to circle back around. We might give it a shot and see how it goes, and when we die miserably, then we'll circle back around when we're a bit more, a bit more tough, a bit more ultra greatsword kitted out. Crimson Parma, I believe, or it was. 
it still is. And I may actually use a shield when I fight the Hate Knights in this area because they, they're brutal. And they're so fast. And I find it easier to parry them than to actually fight them uh, mano a mano. Yeah, see that? I play the floor as lava, but with the water. So I play the water as lava. So here's Hate Tower. Of the places I've seen so far in Scholar of the First Sand, this has gotten the best graphical and lighting upgrade. But it got a downgrade, in my opinion, as far as introducing all of the Hades Knights, as well as the Old Knights, as well as a Guardian Dragon. I think that it's too much. You guys can can agree, you can disagree, that's fine. I just think that putting this many enemies in one area seemed, uh, seemed like a bit much. We're going to leave the old knights alone as we come to them, unless they aggro on us first. But we will deal with this guy. Let's see what's our damage like. They're a three hit, not bad. Not bad. And this guy doesn't drop the Sublime Bone Dust anymore. Oh, hey, no. Focus on him. I never dodge this guy right. See? Okay. I don't even really have a reason to fight this guy since he doesn't drop the Bone Dust. But I will. But I will. I could get their items. Not a cracked blue eye orb, but I could get their armor. Or their greatsword, actually. I could possibly get their sword. In fact, if I got the ultra greatsword, that would be pretty great. I don't think I have the strength to use it yet, but... I would try. One, two, three, three. Ah, ah, ah. Ugh. How many times has that joke been made? Yeah, I'm not going to cheese the Dragon Rider, so we will extend his platform. There we go. I like the change in this next room. In this next room, the two old knights on the left and right will not actually approach you until you've killed this one. And I think that's good. Oh. Oh. That was... That was sloppy. That was super sloppy. And you know what else was sloppy? Not going back to Majula to get a fifth Estus Flask. That was sloppy. Hey guys, I am going to try to draw you away from one another. Oh wow, one fell. That is great. Now, if you time their attacks right, you actually don't have to dodge at all. You can actually just circle straight, which is what I just did there. And here's the second, the outer ring for the Dragon Rider boss fight. I don't know if you can still make this... Well, not that jump for sure, but this one. I don't... That looks further away. That looks farther away. I wonder... Further father? I can never remember, I'll be honest. I don't know if you can make that. I do want to kill that Hade Knight, but I will do so after I kill this hammer wielding. Nope, see? There we go. Alright. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. And that might kill me. Ha ha ha. Oh, you heal so slowly. You know what? Hi ya! Okay, good. Another cracked blue eye orb. Not what I wanted. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cheese this guy a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. At least take off some of his health. Alright. Put it away. Oh! Go ahead. Oh, good. I can stun him. You know what? I don't have the poise to... Ooh, that was close. That was close. Nothing for my troubles, huh? Nothing at all. 
Now this used to just be green herbs, I believe, but now it's an iron chest with the ring of binding. All right, so if I'm hollow, I can keep more of my health. Massless Glencore, we don't really need you for this fight. We don't need you at all for this fight, but you know what we could do is use you. In fact, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use him and backtrack and go take on the Hayden Knights. That's what we're gonna do. See if we can get any drops from them. Hey, buddy. Follow me. I know, you were probably expecting to go in that fog. Not today. As Buzz Lightyear once said, not today. Go, Masterless Glencore! Wow, this guy really wants me. Are you gonna attack him yet? There we go. And, aha! Excellent work. And you know what? We'll finish him off with a flourish. I mean, Master, <laughs> Masterless Glencore will finish him off with a flourish. You're pretty useful, actually. You know that? I don't know if anyone's ever told you that. Are you still following? Yeah, you are. I just want to make sure you don't path off the edge. It's not that I don't trust you, but it's that I think you're probably not all that intelligent. A couple of hits here. Masterless, do your thing. There it is. Ooh, good poke. Good follow-up. I'll take it from here. Oh, we're a good team, you and I. That was unnecessary. We got the Hate Knight Sword. Cool. That has some innate lightning damage. Now, this is sketchy. This worries me. So, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're honestly going to do? All right, run away. Come on. Come on, Masterless. Let's go down to this platform. Don't fight him up there. Don't fight him up there, I said. Good man. You know what you're doing. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no leashing. I'm not... I'm not falling. Hey, Masterless. There we go. <gasps> you killed my friend. You jerk. All right, that's all right. Masterless Glencore really helped us out a lot. I think there's only one more Hade Knight. Of course, it is the Lance Hade Knight, and he is he is arguably the worst. There might be another one, I'm not sure, but I have another old knight or two in here. I think a Divine Blessing on the stairs, and then... Okay. Oh, there is... Yeah, and this guy actually gets up now. I didn't realize. So, he's there. There's the Lance Hade Knight at the top. Are one of you going to leash... I don't, I'm not really concerned about which one, but one of you should go ahead and head home. You're, okay. Well, the old knight's heading home. Oh. Oh. Four R1s is all it takes. That's nice. I was actually going to go for the backstab, but... That R1 combo is, is plenty. Alright, old knight, let's go. You don't see the quad combo too often with them. But when you do, let's try to predict it. Divine Blessing, and what'd you drop? blue eye orb. Hmm. Are you gonna get up? Are you gonna aggro? You are. And again, I hate you. Okay, but that is nice. So it looks like I can... Oh, I can stun you with the jumping R2. But you know what I need to do? Nope, 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 nope. Back up. Oh, run away. Run away. Don't even look behind. 
Get a wall between you. Good. Alright, see if you can just bait an attack. You know what? Or just do that. Just finish him. Now let's take a look at and see what this dragon's all about. I don't know if there are any more enemies, like any more Hayden Knights hiding up top here. I haven't gone up here yet. Doesn't appear so, but you're getting up right now. And do you just start breathing fire? Is that your... Ooh! Wow! You do, and that rate... Do you just... Do you just not stop breathing fire? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Remember that time that I forgot to actually ignite the bonfire? I'll see you guys back in Hate's Tower. Now the question is, are the Hades Knights now angry? No, they're not. That's really good. Now I am just going to kind of speed run through this area. I have no desire to slowly and methodically fight through everything again. So let's light this and let's just attempt to make it all the way back to our souls. We're going to grab our Bloodstain, which is, oh gosh, going to be... Gonna be interesting. Aha! Learning your dodge times. Uh, yeah, yeah. We need to get, we need to get pretty high up there, huh? Yeah, we're we're gonna ignore the guardian dragon and the old dragon slayer for a while. I need some better gear. I definitely need some better gear. This is gonna be interesting. Cause I'm gonna aggro two hades knights, have a whole mess of old knights on my tail, and and. I mean, I'm going to have the dragon going nuts so quickly. Hey, pal. I, uh... Oh, oh, oh. oh, and it still got me from there. I carumba. I carumba. All right. We've got this. I think so. I think we've got this. We should. I don't know where the Hade Knights went, unless they're just behind me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where they are. Pardon me. Thank you. Now, Masterless Glencore could be summoned again. What I need to do is draw this guy away. Just skirt around. There we go. All right. No big deal. No big deal. We don't need Masterless for this fight. Look at that damage. That damage is excellent. Oh, no stun though. I thought thought I would have by now. Oh, I didn't need to dodge that, huh? Oh, residual. Oh, I hit the shield. If you kill me, you realize I have to stop playing Dark Souls. I mean, that's like the unwritten rule. That was a bad roll. Quickly, quickly, quickly now. There's the stun. And, nope. Stupid shield. Good night. Boss number three, a 42 down. Yeah, in case you didn't know, there are 42 bosses in Dark Souls 2 as of patch 1.10. 42. 42. And now, killing the Dragon Rider does make all the other Hade Knights that were formerly neutral. They are aggressive now. So just keep that in mind after you've killed them, or killed the Dragon Rider. That's what we have to deal with. And Lycia has nothing of me to use. I mean, we might actually get a little faith and use something like Force. Force is pretty fun to use. How much is it? 1800? We'll buy it anyway. It's only 12 and 12 faith. And let's talk to her. Talk about the gullible people. There we go. And also with you. Alright, there we go. So that was Soldier's Rest, Things Betwixt, or the rest of Things Betwixt, and Hate's Tower minus the Ancient, or the Guardian Dragon and Old Dragon Slayer, Blue Cathedral, all that. But next time, we're going to be heading into No Man's Wharf. We're going to be taking that on and exploring or entering at least the Lost Bastille from the other side. 
And that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying my exploration of Scholar of the First Sin. If you learned anything or if there's anything you want to talk about, make sure to leave that comment below. And I will see you next time.